Hello, today we're going to talk about using flat files to create shipping plans in Amazon. So in SoStock, there are several ways you can download flat files for creating shipping plans. The first way is through the purchase order. Now, once you've created a purchase order, we're on our orders page, it will show up in your order tracker. <clears throat> and if you click on it, you can just go right here and download a flat file. So that's the first way. And it'll just download a flat file of whatever products that you're shipping to Amazon. There are other ways you can get to the flat files as well. The second way is through a work order. So it looks just the same. Same information, just download flat file. You can also go up here to the purchase orders dashboard. And if you wanted to, let's say, download multiple flat files at the same time, you can do that through bulk actions by clicking multiple purchase orders or selecting all and then go to download flat file. As you can see, some of these purchase orders are not going to Amazon. So you would just want to filter your data correctly so that you're filtering only the shipments that you actually want to create shipment plans for in FBA. And you can watch the videos on filtering and creating dashboards if you wanted to save that setting. You can watch that later. But the point is, is you can do that through purchase orders. You can also do it through the work orders dashboard as well. It's the same thing. Select whichever work orders you want to create your shipping plans for, download your flat file, or you can actually do it one at a time through right here. So there's a bunch of different ways to get to the flat file. Here's an example of a flat file that we've downloaded for this one SKU. Uh, one thing I do want to warn you about is make sure that all of the supplier information has been updated in SoStock. Um, otherwise, when you upload it to Amazon, uh, sometimes there can be errors. Now that we've downloaded our flat file template, let's go into Seller Central. And from your Inventory tab, go down to Manage FBA Shipments. And from there, let's go to Upload Shipping Plan File. Don't worry about downloading the template because you already have a template from SoStock. So now it's just a matter of choosing the file. And you will notice that you've got two folders here. One is Case Pack and one is Individual Pack. Case pack means you're packaging the same product in the same case. And of course, individual pack means you're packaging multiple products within one case or carton. So whichever one you're doing for your Amazon shipment. Just a little note on the document type. So I'm using a Mac computer, an Apple computer. So my default program is numbers. When it opens up any type of a spreadsheet, um, I cannot upload a numbers file, so I exported this. I tried to export this as a CSV file, and that wouldn't really work very well in Amazon Seller Central, so I did it as a TSV file, and that one seemed to work best. But, you know, you can try it for whatever format works for your computer. Um, so you would just select that file, which we've done, and you would upload it. It'll show it being processed here. Now, as you can see with our test account here, we tried several times and failed. Uh, it gave us an error report, and it said that uh, the error is missing label. Please check that you've submitted a tab delimited text file, not in Excel, comma separated, blah, 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 blah. And that's when I tried doing the CSV file. It still didn't work. Um, I did it a few times, and I found out that for my Mac computer, the, uh, the TSV file worked best, but eventually we did get it to upload it. So once that is done, the next thing you'll want to do is scroll over to Shipping Queue. And in our Shipping Queue, we're just going to look at our shipping plans. And here you can see that there it is. So here you can see the Work on Shipping Plan button, and that would take you to the pages where you create your shipments. Obviously, you can download your FBA shipping labels, barcodes, all that good stuff for your suppliers or for your warehouse. So obviously, this is a very simple example with just one SKU. Most likely, you're going to have many, many SKUs with different quantities and different uh, 
uh, options down here. So you'll want to double check your work. Uh, again, I just want to reiterate the importance of having all of this information saved. And that basically means here at the supplier level. Okay, I hope you found that tutorial helpful and happy shipping.